Energy is a really huge part of the Wyoming economy. Energy tends to be a boom and bust sector. So when it goes down, the state goes down with it. Wyoming's wind energy potential is one of the sectors that Wyoming could build on to diversify its economy. For any state to kind of capitalize on the renewable energy boom, you're going to have to develop the workforce that can support it. I'm heading to Casper College for the Golden Works training program. I wanted to do the wind technician program because I figured it'd be a pretty good opportunity for me. Um, I know that the industry is only going to grow. Golden Works is a free Goldwyn sponsored wind energy technician training program. The current market for wind energy technicians is very, very bright. I can tell you as CEO for, for a wind energy company, we are always looking for good people to come and operate and maintain the equipment that we install across the country. The bigger ones, like the ones I have for training, are up to 50 feet, even farther than that. The main thing to change between class A and class B is the distance. Anybody do like this rock climbing stuff and all this? What happens when you have a carabiner that you sit here and go like this with? It rolls, oh, right? Yeah. It cuts in you, but it rolls. I uh, am presently unemployed. As much as being laid off upset me, um, it opens up opportunities. This is an opportunity. We chose Wyoming as the kickoff for this program because we know there's a number of folks here in Wyoming that have experienced a, a downturn in employment because of the uh, downturn in fossil fuel industries. Uh, but these folks have great transferable skills that, that can be brought to the wind industry. It's where the pressure gets put on the body. I worked in fossil fuels for 34 years. The fossil fuel industry bottomed out, and if the wind energy will let me come in and prove myself through them, and I mean, I'm all for that. I have for training to earn up to 50. The course that we're taking is focused on operation and maintenance. Electrical is a big thing in these turbines, so I've learned a lot of electrical stuff and some hydraulics. These labels here, this is exactly what you're going to see on a lanyard. So we'll all just get up here. I'll show you back here at these lanyards here. I'm a regional safety manager here at Goldwyn Americas. We're looking to give people the step up that most people don't have. I would have been one of these guys, you know, five years ago when I first started. So quick, quick test here. You guys know what lanyard this is? There's two types, six foot lanyard, 12 foot lanyard. And it's not the lanyard itself, it's what it's rated for a free fall, okay? Wyoming has natural geographic features that make it great for wind development. The winds coming from the Rocky Mountains are kind of funneled through the center of Wyoming, creating this perfect place to put turbines where the wind always blows, and it blows at fairly high speeds. So it's a perfect place to put wind turbines. All right, if you got all that, let's get your lanyards on. We're going to inspect your lanyards first. My part of the training is a safety training, so we're doing fall protection, so it's how to work at heights, how to climb, and then how to um, rescue people from there. Safety for me, obviously, is number one. We're 300 feet in the air. Every time you clip into your harness, every time you do any of this stuff, you're taking a risk. If you follow everything correctly, it's going to be good to go. What we're doing today at the tower is we're doing some rescue scenarios. How do you rescue somebody off of a ladder? I'm gonna set Tammy and Tanner up, set all the equipment up, and then she's gonna perform a rescue. Look, first thing we're gonna do is your work positioner. I don't ever wanna to have to use this, but if we have to do it, we really need to know how to do this. You're about to take him off of his only lifeline and put him into the one you set up. Straight out of high school, I was hired on with the BLM fighting wildland fire. You're all good? A lot of the BLM is teamwork. I think that'll help me inside the turbines when you have to use another person to be safe and work together with them. Can you pull him? A little. Alright, so pull him. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And you're down. Perfect. You can go ahead and pop up, Tanner. Give me one second. I don't want a job. I've had jobs. I want a career. An expanding wind industry in Wyoming would create a lot of new jobs. And that's really because of the explosive growth in the wind industry right now. 
it's not just the wind energy technicians that are, are benefiting from, from employment. There are a whole host of jobs from the construction folks that are going to be building the project to all the services in a, in a location from hotels and restaurants and just the ongoing uh, services that the wind farm is going to need. Wyoming produces about 40% of the country's coal. More coal than any other state in the U.S. The decline in coal has really affected the state. In fact, the people of the state have borne the brunt of it. The oil and gas business and fossil fuels, the ups and the downs were very devastating on the communities and the people that here in Wyoming. If there's ever a day when the last coal train leaves the station, it'll probably leave from Wyoming. The question is, you know, how long that decline takes. Building wind turbines in Wyoming does not cause a coal miner to lose a job in Wyoming. Wyoming has a tremendous, tremendous future in, in wind energy. It's a renewable source, it is available, and it is clean. Adopting renewables addresses climate change, it's good for the economy, and it's good for the people. It, it allows them to, to continue their livelihoods in a state that has previously depended on fossil fuels. Success for me would be getting that job with this foot in the door that they're providing with the program. I don't want something that's going to run out of steam five years from now. Wind energy is up and coming and booming, which I find kind of exciting. I think that my family is very proud of me for going after this opportunity. I didn't go to college, so this is something that's going to get me a decent career. I know that I can be successful in it if I just put my mind to it, and I think it'll go a long ways for me. This is a career opportunity. This is my new life. There you go. Got another probably 10 to 17 years of service that I can give. I'm just excited that somebody's kind of interested in me. <laughs>